Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Utopia of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. Perfect day, but first, breakfast. Come on in, check it out. So one of the great things about Oasis class ships, so many places to eat. On a four night cruise, you could literally have breakfast at a different place every day. And so far, that's what we've been doing. We had Johnny Rockets, we had brunch, breakfast, you guess we ended up just having breakfast off the brunch menu and the main dining yesterday and today, the famous Windjammer. That's the buffet on board. I believe all Royal Caribbean cruises call their buffet the Windjammer, but this is the newest one. Let's head up, let's see what they have. So yes, it is a port day and it is one of our favorite port days. It's perfect day, Coco Key. Here's Washi Washi. They got a bar right where you walk in. So you can get drinks here at the bar or they do have pe uh, servers that come around. I think Roberta's like, I want to get a drink right now. Maybe they got something different. I don't know. All right. And Jake, why don't we go look around and see what we want? So there's two sides to the wind jammer here for breakfast. If you come real early, they use one side, but now that it's getting busy, everybody wants to get out to the island. I have a full ship tour and I go through this entire wind jammer uh, during my tour and it's all I show you all the breakfast so I'm gonna kind of go quickly here because of vlog purposes but if you want to see everything they have to offer check out the ship tour which will be out probably watching this it's not out quite yet but it'll be out usually it's the last vlog I release from our series you'll find everything here they have carvery they got looks like ham they got eggs they got bacon they got hash they got omelets, they got eggs, they got everything you want. Parfaits, cold cuts. I mean, just to show you quick, they got danishes. And what I really like is they have this little area, it's called Kids Corner. And it's a little bit lower so kids can come up. Kids can come up independently. And yes, kids, they drop plates sometimes, guys. It's okay. All these drinks complimentary here. They do switch them out a little bit. This morning, iced tea, apple juice, orange juice, all kinds of cups. They have complimentary coffee as well. And all the different teas are out. They usually have hot chocolate. Hot chocolate gone ass. Tons of teas. Oh, everybody grabbing the teas. All right. Oh, and of course, some of Jake's favorites. Pancakes. Let's find... Oh, now I gotta find mom again, Jake. Because you can get lost in here pretty easily. It wraps all around on one side and then it extends all the way down to the pool deck on the other side. Wow, we got a spot by the window. And what's cool is there's actually a celebrity ship. I can't quite see which one it is. Oh, wow. First time I've been here with a celebrity cruise. So if you aren't aware, Royal does own celebrity so kind of neat celebrities starting to come and visit coco key but roberta did to me double espresso she's really going to put me to work vlogging today what'd you get roberta caramel latte caramel latte and what we usually do is we just find a spot we want and then we'll go up and get our food because you can get your food first but then you're walking around with plates everywhere and you don't know where you're going but we found a nice spot this morning already people heading to the island Oh yeah, round one, guys. Yeah, avocado toast, it's got some balsamic on it, a little bit of uh, cheese and tomato. Looks like feta cheese. I like the chicken sausage on Royal. I did get a fried egg, I got some Swiss cheese, I got some, yeah, you guys know what that is. That's the Italian stuff, it ends with an M. And of course, I like the hash too on Royal. Got a parfait. Jake, starting off with some bread and some waffles and melon juice got chocolate milk oh yeah we're ready to get started roberta's still getting hers avocado toast mm. that's roberta's favorite she'll come back with like three of these maybe more so far jake how's your waffle Sometimes these things happen, it is a buffet, but overall, I do like my breakfast. Everything is just as good as usual. 
But one thing I want to say is I think this is the nicest windjammer on any of the Royal ships I've been on. Of course, it's the newest. Um, but if you didn't see our embarkation day, you should see the spread they put out. Uh, all New England seafood, lobster tail, little necks, mussels, uh, and shrimp. It just always seems to be really good quality and such a nice variety of food here on uh, Utopia. What I tell you guys, look at Roberta. She's got like this like custom made one. Yeah. The shaft, exactly. right? Yeah, because it could be cross contaminated with the salmon, so they made a separate. Okay, because of the seafood yeah. allergy. Yeah, you can get these with salmon on them as well. All right, Roberta, you enjoy those. Or actually, why don't, why don't you give us one one test, Roberta, here. At, it is perfect day. It is Coco Key. It's Utopia to the Seas. Guys, please take a moment. Subscribe to Medley World if you haven't yet. <clears throat> what do you think, Roberta? Just as good as all the other... Or are these elevated? Do you know what to say? I'm here for the avocado toast. What's I'm that? here for the avocado toast. She's here for the avocado toast. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. Hello. I got this from the kids corner. It's like a, a baguette with cream cheese and a little fruit. I guess carbs were calling my name on this round. Piece of ham. Wanted to point out something too. They have what's called like a waffle station. So you can get waffles with like whipped cream and bananas. So I guess I need to go there. Yeah, Roberta says I gotta go there. So it's like a whole waffle station. Uh, and they also will do customized omelets. They're actually made to order. So you give them, uh, there's, a, there's a crew member, kind of writes down what you want, hands it in so it'll make them fresh for you. Ah, such a good variety. Lots of fruits to snacks. One thing is, if you want to enjoy a little bit of the pool, when you are at uh, Perfect Day Coco Key, this is such a popular port, mostly everybody comes off the ship, but if you did want to come in the morning, maybe dip around a little bit. It's much more quiet out here now than it usually is when they got the parties going and stuff, so it's kind of relaxing. There it is, guys. Perfect day. Where should we go today? I can already tell you we're going to go to the oasis lagoon which is the largest freshwater pool in the caribbean is according to royal and i think that utopia to seas has stolen the playlist from Publix. that's where i work uh besides making vlogs i work at Publix. i absolutely love working at Publix in florida it's awesome d2 i'll show you again because it's gonna call the same elevator d2 so you hit this these auto elevators are awesome. And then this is where you go out. Number two, we just went back to the room, got our suntan lotions on, ready to go. Uh, did a little work for Meddling World. Uploading some videos actually from Sapphire Falls that you guys already have watched at this point. So let's head out. Can't wait to get out there and look at the ship from outside of the ship to see how massive this baby is. Oh, I was trying to get these guys, look, they clean the elevator, they sit on top of the elevator shaft and they go on YouTube. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Pretty neat, I've never seen that before, ever. Here we are guys, outside. So over on my left, that's Utopia. Here, I believe it's Reflection. Celebrity Reflection, give you a nice look so neat to come out and see the cruise ships especially i mean one thing about nassau whenever we've got a nassau there's always so many ships and it's kind of cool just to walk around even at the port area and look at all the different ships if you look off to the right you'll see they do offer a shuttle as well if you don't want to walk down the pier they will offer a shuttle but oh, i love walking down the pier hey you roberta she's ready there's Utopia there. There's a nice shot. You can look right all the way down. And then to the right is the Celebrity Reflection, which is another massive ship in its own right. Both owned and operated by um, Royal Caribbean. You just gotta be careful here with these trams. So you will see that they do have uh, the water park. It's called Thrill Water Park right there. 
supposedly one of the tallest water slides uh, in all of the Caribbean area, so they say. And they also claim to have the largest freshwater pool here on Perfect Day Coco Key. Coco K. Either way, I've heard people say it both ways. Oh, it is hot today. This is the first time I think we've been to this island where the wind is not like blowing crazy. Usually there's a huge wind gusts, but today it's just barely any wind. Oh, this is nice. It's so hot, I think we want to head right over to Oasis Lagoon, the pool. You can see all the playthings here. This is included, by the way. You don't have to pay for this stuff here. All the splash. Captain Jack's, however, you can use your... Oh, by the way, if you're on the drinking plan, any of the drink packages work here on the island. We're not sure about internet, though. They also have these accessibility chairs, if needed. Stroller here. Strollers, yeah, if we yeah. find them. They kind of first come, first serve. There's no charge for them. You can't reserve them. You just got to have to kind of come early. But again, you can use your drink package here. Captain Jack, so the food there is a an extra charge, but there's tons of included food also the on the island. seems to be working. And the internet seems to be working. So if you have the internet package, it seems to be working all right. So I guess the best way to describe the island is it's like an extension actually of your cruise. It's like an extension of the ship. Because over here, you have Splash Away Bay. This is also all included, just like on the ship. I'll show you real quick. Roberta's going over here to check something. But just like I showed you on the pool deck, this is just a really big version. They got all these splash areas. There's no age limit here. I go through here. I'm 50 years old and I play in here. Also have slides. Again, no age limit can be any any age. You can slide down with your kids. Your kids can go independently. So just be mindful. It's two feet deep. And they do, though, however, have complimentary life vests. Let me just check to see if there is a height requirement. But as far as I know, there is not. I don't see anything about height. Just showing you the maximum water depth is two feet. What we'll do today is we're just gonna kind of show you our day. We have, I think, four or five other vlogs of uh, Coco Key, and we do different things every time we come, so check out those out. But over here, this is where you're gonna find all your included lunch, Skipper's Grill. And also they do have, just like on the ship, they have the complimentary beverages here as well. So we'd like to give you the information and also the fun the balloon i've never seen work that's that's different that big parrot i've never seen the balloon go up there's an excursion for the balloon but honestly i've never it, it seems to always get canceled and i don't even know if i noticed it this time when i was on the app i don't know if they have done away with it or not and there's a little shortcut over here to the oasis lagoon but it's so hot i just want to get out in the water and there's a cool swim up bar over here i think we're gonna go over there and get a nice cold drink to start our day and we'll probably hang out here for several hours because i also want to get back to the ship a little early today that's why we came out i think it's like maybe 9 30 ish not even um so we can get back on the ship just to see i want to see the vibe on the pool deck in the early afternoon while we're still here at coco key because all aboard is not until five this is not heated but it is it's beginning of september in the bahamas oh here's the stroller too so you can see the big wheels on the stroller complimentary just to give you a look yes thank you roberta complimentary vest jake's already in there he says it's cold now i i can't believe that this is cold now when roberta guys roberta come here for a minute when Roberta says it's cold, that means it's warm. When I say, yeah, they also have this. If you need it, a lift you can get into the water. If you really want to know water temperature, just listen to me, guys. Never mind these guys. They're always cold. Jake's usually not always cold. He's telling me the water's cold. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, look at this. They have these little water chairs. 
I, I, you know, it's still a little early, but I would imagine today, Roberta, this might be with these two huge ships here. Yeah. Probably the most people that I've ever experienced at the island. Usually, you know, when it's two royal ships, they usually have a smaller ship with a Oasis class ship. <laughs> so far in our experience, might not always be like that, but these chairs are cool too. All right, let's find a little spot to sit. Never really hung out over on this side. This is like the other far end of the pool, but you go under the bridge, there's a swim up bar. And it's got this nice grass here too. Shade here. Oh, we forgot to get, did we forget to get our towels? Yeah. <laughs> there are towels on the island though, however. But look at over here. You can sneak right over to the beach. Ooh, this is another place where, let me see. Let's go for a little adventure on Medley World. This is what I love about coming on these islands. Look at this little shortcut, guys. Pop right out here. Not sure what this is. It's a check-in. This might be oh day bed check-in. I think this is for anybody. Just looks like another beach area. Now I know South Beach, I think, is that way. And that's where I suggest if there's a lot of wind, just go on over to South Beach. Oh look, okay. So I think the snack shack is included. It's just a little bit more limited, but you can walk up. And I hear that uh, chicken sandwich is good. So yeah, there's beach right here too. Oh, that's cool. So I think we found a good spot. We can kind of bounce back and forth. Pretty neat. I'm trying to find the drinks. Ah, oh, there's some drinks. Let me hydration beverage. Roberta can go get us a better beverage and I'm gonna go find towels. The pool, we're right over there. I just walked kind of that way. So if you don't want to have to take the towels from the ship, there's a nice little convenient station right here. And it works the same way. You need your card. They check them in. And then uh, you have to return them before you leave so that they don't charge you. I think they charge you like 25. Some kind of wildlife in there, guys. I've seen like, there's a chicken. There he is. Check them out. Chickens. Oh, and by the way, we're in the pool. A guy found a crab in the pool that was alive, so he brought it over to the beach. <laughs> you know, find all kinds of things on Coco Key. Just, I do love the logistics of how I like to vlog here. So, there's your towel station. Boom, here's the lagoon. And I'll show you as we walk through. We're right over here on the left side, so that's how quick it was. So, now I'm happy that we didn't carry these all the way from the ship. I actually recommend doing it that way if you're going to be in this area. Also have this little, like a you can rinse off. I guess if you came out of the ocean, you want to rinse off salt water. You can also wash your feet. Actually, let's give it a try. Oh, I do want to show you something about the bar because it is a swim-up bar, but it's also this is all again great for mobility. If you're using a chair or even a stroller, I always like to say for strollers as well. It's a ramp, and you can just hang out in the back here uh, and walk up as well but let's see if i can find robert and jake i just noticed too there's like these little swim up also tables after you get your drink you can go up to the table here's the bar let's see already getting quite busy here let's see if i can find robert and jake it's a mocktail by the way roberta says i don't know what it is roberta i think it's passion fruit i've got a passion fruit with it's like some wine Here's a bar, look at the bar. Now, I'm saying the water's not cold, but this is the true test. The true test, if the water is warm or not. We gotta ask Roberta, and I have not asked her. Roberta? It's not bad. It's, it's not bad, which yeah, it's really warm. means it's very warm. Yeah. When she says it's warm, it means it's hot. So not bad, Roberta, yeah, very, very warm. Nice. Came back over here for a minute. Oh, they're already serving food. Let's have a look at the menu while we're here, guys come on over we're gonna go in the water but i'm i just had breakfast but let's see they got snack burger oh shack burger and then they have a regular beef burger cheeseburger shack crispy chicken sandwich crispy chicken sandwich beef hot dog french fries mozzarella sticks different salads desserts yeah 
Not too bad. Should probably try something in a little bit. But what do you guys think? Let's head to the water. All right, so we just saw a poor kid that got hit hard with jellyfish. So be careful, guys. We, we talked about this on our last cruise. This time of the year, especially summertime, the water's warmer. Uh, jellyfish, and he was not having a good time. He's probably, you know, he looked like he was about seven or eight. Uh, I've been stung several times in my, growing up on the beach, but it usually stings for a few minutes, depending on the kind of jellyfish, and then it goes away. But yeah, look at, these are all these uh, cabanas out here. I think those are the really, like the family ones. And I don't see anybody in them because they cost, some of them cost more than the entire cruise just for the day here. It is, it's a nice beach. Yeah, we've never been this one before. No, we haven't never come to this beach. They got these day beds too that you can rent. I'm gonna tell you though, if you're gonna rent these things, I advise doing it prior to your cruise because they are very expensive, but convenient. And this water is very nice. It's, you can see right in it and it's warm. It's still hanging there. I think I scared him talking about the jellyfish. But uh, I would say it's just as warm as the pool for sure. Oh, we just saw this huge fish. I couldn't get my camera on. It was big. I don't think it was a shark though, but the lady on the side of us said she saw a couple sharks uh, over there. Oh, wait, here they come back. Here's a few fish. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna stick the camera. I do have a GoPro, but I don't always like to. I don't always like to stick it in the water. But uh, I think that was worth it. Hey, here's a couple more. Me? Just to kind of show you this angle. Like <laughs> Jake, Jake is like not coming in. Could be a little water in the mic, guys. It should clear up in a minute from me sticking the camera in. But what's nice is we're so close to the to where our chair is at the Oasis Lagoon pool. We didn't have to bring our towels or anything. We just walk right over so we can keep that central area. And if I remember right, South Beach is like around the corner. That's the one I recommend. If you come to the island on a very windy day or a day that's a little bit cooler, South Beach is really nice. It's usually a little bit more calm with wind. But pay attention to tides because that has a tendency at low tide to be very shallow. And if that tide starts to come in, it gets deep quick. So pay attention to that. But we're looking for fish. We're looking for wildlife. There is a jellyfish, so you can see what they look like. And they're pretty much transparent. So that's a stinging one. You can yeah. see the red. So I think we're gonna back up a little from there. Yeah. But remember, he's gonna go around them. Keep your eyes, be attentive. You're in the ocean, man. And that brings me to another point, man. Listen, just because you're doing, like if you're doing an excursion, you're on these private islands, guess what? Oh, there's a couple of them now. There's a couple of them, so. Yeah, maybe. I will get out. Yeah. But it bring, what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that it is the ocean, man. Any, you know, there's fish. You, know, and you can't do anything about, oh my God, there's a jellyfish. Yes, this is where they live. They live in the ocean. All right. Let's see what else we can find around. I'm trying to show you different things and we've done because we have been here five, six times. Roberta's saying she got hit with one, but she's fine. She's tough. She grew up in Rio, man. She gets stung by these big jellyfish all the time. I will say the clear ones like that, have a tendency to have a less of a sting. You see them red ones, or if you see one that has like the bag, you see the one floating with a bag, that's a Portuguese man of war. Those things will mess you up hardcore. Oh yes, this is so fun to play. It's like soccer, but you play it like a well, game of pool. We've played this before, actually. Royal has this on Labadee. That's a private island at Haiti. Right now though, they're not traveling there. Hopefully temporarily because that is one beautiful area, Labadee. Oh, yeah. the, the landscape, the beaches, it, yes, it's a little bit outdated, yeah. 
but it just when you're in the water and you're looking and seeing mountains and everything it is beautiful but yeah this is like all so sports area very cool yeah let's do some more discovering oh this is more of an open path to get back i think this is the pool we kind of came through the woods let me see Yeah, so you can get rides. Here's a tram station. It'll bring you around. It'll drop you at different beaches. Oh, yeah, so you can walk right over to the pool this way as well. If you don't want to do the little shortcut. But from where we were, that's behind the bar. So, yeah, from where we were, right out. Oh, there's a bar over there, too. Actually, how about a Pellegrino? Maybe Jake is ready for a, a Coke or something. And, yes, guys, when we're cruising, we allow Jake to enjoy like anybody else he wants to have his sodas we let him have sodas this is how we live man we're just normal regular people guys and bringing you on the meddling world adventure with the information that we show what it's really like and roberta did say she got stung in the back of the leg no, right in, the front. in the front of the leg but very minor a little itchy and msc was worse yeah the msc private island was much worse those were big enough you could see them i think we're gonna try something from the snack shack over here which is included by the way and i also wanted to show you just kind of as i'm sitting here i'm in the shade too there's this seating area here but all these like umbrellas and chairs you see in front of me these are all complimentary as well so this is called chill beach that's the name of this beach but yeah so you can just come here and sit under the umbrellas use the chairs like i said it's an extension of your cruise ship and Basically, the island runs just like the ship. So I got some ginger ale. Jake's got a Miami Vice. Hold on, and I think Roberta, she loves these. This is a Nojito. She loves these things. I thought the Nojitos were better on MSC a little bit. I don't. I've been doing a lot of comparison this vlog. I usually don't do that. But now that we've cruised so much, I do a little bit here and there. But uh, I think you can see we are loyal to Royal. Ooh, mozzarella sticks. And we got some. We got some fries. And this is the shack chicken sandwich. And Roberta got a shack chicken sandwich. A little snack. We'll probably head over to the buffet too. But a little pre-snack, pre-lunch snacks. Mozzarella stick. Here we go. Oh, they're good. They're actually really good. They're very lightly breaded. It's mostly just like cheese. Look at that. And the sauce was nice. Sauce is also not like wicked overpowering sauce. It's very mild sauce. The fries. Ah, let's try fry. Jake, what do you think of the fries? You're a good fry guy. Fries are pretty good. Oh yeah. Fries are nice. So Roberta already had a bite, but everybody tells me you got to try like the, the uh, Snack Shack chicken sandwich. It's got, look at everything it's got on. It's almost like a, it looks like Big Mac. It's good. Mm. You know what? Wow, it's good. I don't know if it's so early that we're eating. Every, it's hot, it's it's moist, the sauce and everything's good. Oh, it is just as good as people said. Definitely thumbs up on this one. Roberta, what'd you think of it? Good? Yeah. So we went back to the beach and man. This guy, I think he say, they made this announcement like to come in closer. So I think there was like a shark. So they do patrol it. But again, I was just talking about this, right? Here in the ocean, <laughs> there's sharks, man. So guys, I you know I already showed you this, but I want to show you the difference just within a couple hours from when we got here, how many more people are in the pool now. So it is good to come out a little bit early as you can. So it got much, much busier. And again, this pool wraps all the way around. And we're gonna do some more discovering around the island, I think. I do like to give you the total 
experience, immersive adventure. So different times of the day, different activities. Show you all about it. Splash away, Bay. Ah, let's go through a little bit. Oh yeah. All the splash, all the fun. They got all this and they got the bucket. They got the slide. They got it all. Fun. So Jake actually, I think he said he's gonna go down this one and he's 13 and he's still in here. Oh no, he's over there. He's little though. He's a little shorty for 13. He can get away with all this. Look at him. Whee! All right. And that's why I said, doesn't matter how old you are, it's all it's about having fun. So let's see, Jake's coming out. He should be coming out here in a moment. Let's see. Here he comes. So he's done them all. He did that one, he did the middle one, and now he's doing this one. Let's see what, Jake, come here. Which one do you like the most? Jake saying that he likes that one the best. Cool, here we go, everybody goes. And the water's nice. Water's very nice. There's a cool view from up here. <laughs> I'm just a big kid anyway. Oh, they twist. Oh, those ones twist. So you can twist it different ways. There you go. Jake, this way. Here it comes, guys! Ah! I think you get the idea. It can be any age, Roberta. Yeah. And Jake calls this one the water umbrella. Because you can go under it and stay dry. I'm sure this mic's full of water, but Jake, as a young teen, how was it? If you ever need to cool off, just go there. Yeah. Yeah, it is actually, if you're heading back to the ship, it is on the way back. We're going back this way, I think. Maybe we'll try going over here by Skipper's and see if they got some food. So guys, I'm sure the mic, if it's not cleared up yet, it should in a moment, but I want to show you 11.30 to 3 for lunch. Kind of just walk through a little bit. Got all your fruits, here's your beverage, and you got all different salads here. Same food, been here for quite a while. Last few times I've been here. Hey guys, they got the ribeye, they got the Cuban, they got the, oh that's a portobello mozzarella. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you guys. Always happy to see the camera, these guys, I love it. And what do we got here? Oh, toppings. Toppings for your burgers. Multiple, which is good. The other side, they do make tacos. They make the fresh tortillas. And they have all kinds of toppings here. You got your guac. And then you come around this way. As I just kind of go through. Let's see. Not too busy in here. All the different things. Those are the tortillas, you got chicken, you got pork. Looks like beef, beans, rice. And as you come around, and it just kind of repeats itself, which same as a ship, right? So multiple areas you can just walk up so you don't have to wait in one continuous line where some of the other cruise lines, it's not as set up as nice as this. I can tell you that right now. More toppings too. Multiple to toppings. I don't know what you're talking about. And I think this line and the other line are the same with like burgers and hot dogs. Let's see. Oh, okay. So you got burgers. You got, that looks like chicken maybe. Chicken uh, like thighs. Corn on the cob. You got hot dogs. You got the hamburger, cheeseburger. And then once again, as you go down, it repeats it. I also have a bar here too, so you can get all your beverage. Uh, but when you're at the beaches and the pool, I think they do have some service at the beaches. 
but definitely at the pool the servers come around so you can get um you can get all the drinks and stuff but you can sit out here and they also is it over here yeah they also have this nice like dock pier area where you can sit and overlook oh here's a good shot of the ship well wow. you know what let's go over here into it's like this little lagoon over here i want to go check out right around the corner wow you can't see how you how huge utopia is even with the celebrity reflection right there which is a massive ship on its own right let's head in the water here they do have a bar over there as well so this water is wicked warm and the thing is jake you know he he's concerned because of the jellyfish so he's not really digging it oh he got his name here though that's cool jake you a little worried about those jellyfish yes so hey you guys know what's most important is how your kids making sure your kids are happy and feeling good so think what you want to maybe head back to the pool a little bit we've showed you quite a bit uh and the things we didn't show you today they're all on our other vlogs we've been all around this island several different times on several different ships so check them all out so here's the other food area guys i was talking about and if you look just right across so no matter what side of the beach or the island i should say you're on you can easily access the famous where we wash our feet before we go back to the ship get the sand out look everybody and yes we are heading back on utopia to the seas today we usually split this log into two yeah because it's such a long day uh, but I'm interested. I want to get back on the ship and see how the pool deck is uh, while we're here, right? Yeah, today's the ice show too. Ice show later today. Yeah. Don't even know where we're going to have lunch. We don't even know where we're going to have dinner yet. Yeah. So join us for the second half here of day four, our final night. Final afternoon, final night on the awesome utopia of the seas guys thank you so much for watching meddling world please take a moment subscribe to meddling world if you haven't yet thank you to our patreons and last but not least see ya